Okay, I've got another nice practical video. It's a uh, another example of a thermal decomposition. Now, the pile that you see there is ammonium dichromate, which is a combination of ammonium and chromium. I'll show you the uh, the chemical formula there. When it focuses is NH42Cr2O7. It also says explosive when dry, which that is a dry powder. Of course, as usual, don't try this at home, even if you could get hold of ammonium dichromate. Now, what I'm putting in there is a small piece of filter paper that's been soaked in ethanol, and that is going to basically act as my fuse. Um, I just had to grab a splint. Um, basically, when this reaction goes on, you'll see it produces quite a lot of heat and also produces chromium, chromium oxide as the ammonia goes off. Now, it's quite a quick reaction and it doesn't need a lot of heat to, to get it going. So, once, it, once it's going, as it's going now, you'll see that quite nicely, almost looks like a little little volcano going up. I'll move in a bit closer for you. You can see quite nicely there there's chromium oxide ash being produced. A nice green powder. There's quite a lot of smell of uh, ammonia. So I'm going to put the fan on and draw out some of the, the smell. Now, the ash itself that's left, uh, inside there, there can be some residual which can go about. So that's why I'm going to spread it about a little bit, just so you can, just so I can see that it's not going to suddenly uh, carry on reacting. Excellent. Now, if I take a little sample of it, you can see quite nicely that it's gone from that orangey sort of powder when it focuses, if it's going to focus at all. No, decided not to focus on this. Okay, well, ah, there we are. To, some sort of green, the chromium colour, which is quite a nice reaction to demonstrate.